Great news, Sony just announced the Xperia 1 6. But with that, there's also some bad news. Hi, welcome to Zigajo Review. Sony announced the Xperia 1 6, which is Sony's flagship phone. It's supposed to have all these camera accoutrements that people like. It's a very niche phone. And there are some changes that are sure to bother some people and some people might not be as bothered or care about it. But uh, there's definitely changes on this new device that I will say are for the better in some parts and uh, not so better in others. So let's get into it. The first big change is the size and form factor. The new Sony Xperia 1.6 it's going to measure 6.5 inches or 162 by 74 by 8.2 millimeters, which is going to change the form factor from a 21 by 9 aspect ratio to a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. If we compare that to the Pixel 8 Pro to give you an idea, that Pixel 8 Pro measures 162.6 by 76.5 by 8.8 .8 millimeters and it has an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. So this one is going to be a little smaller than the Pixel 8 Pro to give you an idea. Now the other big change is that this device goes from being a 4K OLED display to having a FHD Plus display. It is also going to be OLED. It is going to have a resolution of 2340 by 1080. Now it seems that the reason for the change is power consumption. It seems that the 4K display consumes way too much power compared to the new display. And so that means that this phone is going to last longer on a charge than the previous did. But they're adding some tech to the display to make it worth your while. In this case, they're going to be using color reproduction tech from Bravia, which is supposed to make the display better because it is a Bravia display. Now, no surprises here is going to be using AI to help the image. So Sony says that the Xperia 1.6 is going to use AI to improve contrast, color, and clarity. The display is going to have a variable refresh rate of 120 Hertz. It is also going to be 50% brighter than last year's device. And the phone is also going to be using Gorilla Victus two for its display. The back of the phone will have a frosted tactile finish that according to Sony, it makes it more resistant to fingerprints and surface scratches than other materials. Let's talk about the camera because that's what everybody gets this phone for or the few people who get this phone is for the camera and its camera capabilities. The Sony Xperia 1.6 is going to keep the Sony Develop Exmor T. The cameras will come with a 16mm ultra wide camera, a 24mm main camera and an 85mm to 170mm variable telephoto camera. The front or selfie camera is going to have a 24 millimeter lens. Let's talk about pixels on those cameras. The main camera is going to be 48 megapixels. The telephoto lens and the ultra wide lens, both are going to be 12 megapixels. As AI infiltrates everything in technology, this too will use AI to help you with your pictures. Sony says that these cameras will use AI processing to deliver picture quality equivalent to a full frame camera enabling less noise and wider dynamic range in low light. But it looks like it's going to use a lot of AI when it comes to image processing for your cameras and screen. Another improvement on this year's Xperia phone is going to be the camera app. In previous Xperia phones, you had all those pro mode stuff hidden. You had to go through the menus to get to the pro mode features for the cameras on this phone, which is kind of annoying when you're buying a phone because of the pro mode features that it provides 
4K camera. Well, Sony is finally solving that issue and putting everything in a new camera app that is supposed to make it easier to get to do all those pro mode options. So no more digging around for that. Let's talk about the internals of the phone. The Xperia 1 6 is going to come with the newest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It's going to have 12 gigs of RAM. It is going to come with two sizes for storage, 256 gigs and 512 gigs. The phone is also going to support micro SDXC, which means that you can expand your storage to up to 1.5 terabytes. That is really cool. And it's something that Xperia continues to do or Sony continues to do with their smartphones that no, no one else does, right? That, that the micro SD card or the SD card on the phone has gone the way of the Dodo in older devices, but Sony has kept that consistent. And, and it is good because you don't have to worry about spending tons of money. You can go with the cheapest entry price at 128 gigs, buy an SD card, and you can expand all the way to over one terabyte. And that is amazing. We're going to get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. According to Sony, that battery is going to last two days. And that's, of course, thanks to software and the new display that is supposed to lower power consumption. The device is going to support Qi wireless charging and battery sharing. So that means that when you put another device on top of your phone, you'll be able to charge that other device as long as it supports wireless charging. Sound has always been important to the Xperia line of phones, and this phone isn't going to stay behind. This phone comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The phone also has an upgraded premium audio circuit to help you hear your tunes uh, better when you plug a headphone directly to your phone because hey again headphone jacks are still a possibility if sony can put a headphone jack on their phone that means that everybody else can put a headphone jack on their phone the xperia phones always come with stereo speakers and this phone is going to do the same it's going to have improved stereo speakers and of course they also aim to the audio files so this is going to come full of support for every single type of audio that you can think of so we're going to have high resolution audio high resolution audio wireless ldac bluetooth 5 now when paired to wireless headphones i'm going to take a wild guess and i'm going to say most likely sony headphones this phone will activate its advanced audio coding or AAC, which is supposed to enhance the sound quality even farther than it already does, whatever that means. This one is also made for gamers, pew, pew, pew. Yes, that's how gamers play games. The Xperia 1.6 is getting a first person shooter optimizer, which means that the CPU is going to optimize its usage depending on what you're playing. It is also going to control the frame rate depending on what you're playing and not only that they have improved touch controls in order to offer three different tracking speeds and two levels of tap accuracy so if you are a mobile gamer this phone is trying to appeal to you in the cooling department this is going to have a new vapor chamber to dissipate the heat from your long gaming sessions let's talk pricing and colors because that's what everybody wants to know we have three colors we have black platinum silver and khaki green pricing is going to be 1299 euros and 1299 pounds now as you can hear from the pricing there is no dollar pricing announced and that that is the bad news that I talked about at the beginning of the video because it seems that this phone is actually not going to come to the US. It looks like Sony is giving up on the US market when it comes to phones. And the reason is because there are, a few days ago, there were tons of articles talking about how much Google Pixel has taken away from Sony on the mobile market. So it looks like because
because Google's pixel became so big, especially in the US, that that little sliver of market share that Sony had with the Xperia phones has gone away. It looks like in Japan, their sales have also dipped last year and have actually been dipping every year. A lot of speculation was that Sony was going to drop their smartphone devices and not make them anymore. But clearly with this announcement, that's not the case. What it seems that is actually happening is that Sony is just not going to release it in the US. And, and it makes sense. If you have a market like the US where your phones are in selling why will you invest in you know making devices for this market if they're not going to sell but also sony has itself to blame because if you think about it how often do you hear about sony experience phones exactly you don't there are no commercials for it there's not really a lot of marketing for it even when it's in the us there's a lot of people that i guarantee you who probably don't even know that sony makes a smartphone other problem with this phone is that it's always very expensive and the reasons why it's always very expensive is because it has a lot of tech in it that most likely the average person doesn't really need or doesn't care about this phone also always has a lot of stuff for their camera which is great but that also makes it a niche device it makes it a device that people who are looking to to become photographers or videographers with a Sony camera are the ones who are going to buy it. And even then, the experience for them isn't that great, as I mentioned earlier. And the other problem is that they never update their phones on time. And so that also turns people off. I will say that it's not the consumer's fault, but it's Sony's fault for trying to keep their phone exclusive and not allowing the average consumer to to learn about their device to make it use enough user friendly enough for that average consumer and so because of that now it looks like sony isn't going to be releasing this phone in the us if you're watching this video interested in buying that phone it is available for pre-order right now it came out on may 15th for pre-order it is going to be available for sale sometime in june what do you think about the upcoming xperia phone have you had an xperia phone before do you like it let me know in the comment section that is it for me go ahead and subscribe give us a thumbs up it really helps the channel go ahead everyone hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos i completely forgot what i had to say right now for some reason that's it thank you very much for watching see you on the next one